to count me out I'ma gon' count me in Fill up my bank account Now I got something to spend Count me out, I'ma gon' count me in Fill up my bank account, now I got something to spend For nothing when I'm feeling great Give my baby little more Just to spend it in. And I'm always on go I don't hesitate You still always know I make it hey, yeah. I'll be me until I'm in the grave yeah. See my record had to say Welcome back We are currently loading up this engine To take it to make like 1300 horsepower So We're going down to Cole Motors really quick And we're going to drop it off and we've arrived here at Kohl's to drop off the engine for, as you guys know, the blue truck. And I am like geeked to see what this thing's gonna do when it's done. And I have to tell him right now if it's gonna be just a stock rebuild or 1200 horsepower. What do you guys think? Drop a comment on what I should do with this. And do we make it a race truck or do we make it a, a nice driver that can actually be enjoyed and not break every time I drive it? Because I do tear up my personal vehicle especially when i have one that's for fun and not my daily driver the mega cab you guys see i don't really beat this one up that much unless me and gabe go partying and it always ends bad i think 1400 horsepower would be the right number for it Now that the motor's dropped off, and you guys seen we got the blue truck down on the ground, and I cannot be any happier with how it's turning out. So now we just got the rear wiring harness all on the frame. We're gonna throw the trans cross member in it now. I just drilled out the holes to a half inch, picked up some bolts, and get that tightened up. The cradle on that side we tightened up as well, so we can mount the fuel tank inside there. And I just drained out all the fuel so I can mount a sump into the tank. and. I guess I shouldn't have my vehicles with a full tank because now we have about 20 gallons of fuel in buckets and cans that have to somehow get into one of these vehicles here. So that should be pretty fun. Here's the fun part. Doughboy's, Doughboy's Christmas. Okay, whenever I buy something new or Doughboy buys something new and it's brand new inside of a box, he is always the first one to rip these boxes open. I can't even enjoy ordering things because I come to my shop and it's all open. Yeah, like this. He's got eight coilover springs in his boxes. He'd be happier than a kid in shit opening all eight boxes. So what these are are e -back. These are 500s. But yeah, because his truck only weighs 500 pounds. So we're just going to throw these 500 pound springs on his truck. Black and silver looks good together. Oh, we're going to Utah because I, I don't know why. My, my last video that you guys just seen, I'll show you guys. It's not even up yet. Still private, I haven't made a thumbnail for it. So I finished it last night at like 4 a.m. and then it's now 7.18 and we slept for like an hour. Who's the reason we're going to Utah? The, the one and only. We're about to hop on this elevator, take us down to Japan, and then slide over to Egypt, and back up to fucking Salt Lake City. Utah. Yeah, we landed in, where are we, Salt Lake City? It's Something like that. That's all I brought for clothes, highlighter shoes, the GFP hoodie that fits very well. Um, yeah, I need some food. This shit looks too bougie for me. I'm broke as shit. Oh my God. Some Domino's. Oh. Imagine I go down with my legs wide open and knock everybody out. That would hurt. That would probably hurt. 
Everybody it's going to domino man. like his man. transmission. I'm going to fly my ass right into an Uber. <laughs> so what I did was I had to throw on the old hubs because I still haven't got the new ones yet. And that allowed me to roll the truck out of the shop. So don't, don't mind that. I mean, unless that's like show quality, then I'll leave it. But I think, actually, yeah, I think that is show quality. That should work for sure. It's only missing two studs and all the threads are kind of smashed. We'll probably leave that on there, but we're getting ready to pull those back off. I have to get the gears set back up to the axle, get the axle all cleaned out because it's still full of sand and stuff from when it got powder coated. And then the coilovers are out. Those gotta get cleaned and the springs have to get put on them. So that should look pretty decent down there, I would say. We'll get everything all cleaned up, looking like new. Scrub all these down. Get the gearbox brays bolted onto it. I have to find the, oh, that's already on there. So that'll have a bearing that goes onto here, right there, and then it slides up in here. Bolts into where the sway bar bolts in, right there, on each side, and then that'll be done. And just assemble the rear calipers and the front calipers, along with putting all the axle shafts together and buying U-joints and clear coating those so the U-joints don't rust. We have the front yoke for the axle it has to go on yet still. And then we got the new nut already for this. We have the new crush sleeve right here for the axle. The gears are sitting right here. Those gotta get cleaned, set back up inside there. Put the shims and everything back on it. And this thing will be ready to rock. We'll get it back on the ground and then the body is almost done. So that'll be getting picked up here soon, but I'm, I'm leaving again to go to Florida. So you guys will have some pretty nasty Florida content with something you guys can't see sitting outside. The Mega Cab has a little bit of a steering problem right now. So I just went out and bought a new tie rod for it and a tie rod end. I gotta throw that on yet still, but we have one little issue with the gears. And I just called to order the seals for them and I can't get them till Friday. So that will definitely be placed on hold. But it's fine though, cause we have a lot of other things we can take care of, like the Mega Cab, which the suspension is changing on it. And I don't know how to feel about it. I know I do have some 24s inside there. You guys might've seen and those might end up on it. Maybe lower, maybe higher, maybe bigger tires, maybe smaller tires. But we're gonna toss this stuff on it really quick after I go to the gym and see how she drives. And also, the Mega Cab got tuned again because I changed some things on it and now it's a complete missile and it blows the tires off, taking me off from the start with no brake. And that's like not good for Brandon because Brandon is probably gonna annihilate the transmission, the axle. Um, I, I think this motor can hold, but we're gonna we're gonna knock on wood on that. Knock on wood. I think the motor can hold. I'm gonna go ahead and get a fleece turbo coming for it. Head studs, injectors, probably order a trans for it. That should definitely help the truck out a lot because I like this truck. It it just it just looks so so nice. And that might be getting changed soon along with that right there. Oh, she just shut off. That's no good. Okay, back to good. The remote start shuts off after like 15 minutes and it's so annoying. So if anyone knows how I can change that so the thing will stay running until I get in it or it runs out of fuel, let me know because I hate that it does not remote start. If the hood's open, if the check engine light's on, if the door is open, if something, if it's out of fuel, it doesn't remote start. I want it to start even if the motor's locked up. Like why have a remote start for it to shut off in 15 minutes or just not start at all? Like it's a Cummins, the check engine light goes on every other day. For the people that ain't close to Speak a little something you could toast to I ain't trying to hear about what you won't do Alright, like so we just got Our drag link installed On the old, as you guys know Mega Cab 4th Gen that I had And now we can see if the steering's a lot tighter Because I'm so used to driving these 2nd Gens And them damn steering's are all over the road So I was just used to driving this And then I didn't notice it was real sloppy until someone else drove it when I was inside the truck. I was like, damn, her is loose. And yeah. So we now have this. What do you guys think though? So my idea was to change the suspension, but should I go up or down with it? If I go up three inches with it, yeah, it'll be sick. 
if I go down with it on some different type of size wheels and wider wheels, I won't say much, but if I go down with it, it'll look sick. If I go up with it, it'll look like a mini monster truck. And I am known for having very large vehicles. I mean, if you can't tell, and I, I'm just trying to decide on which route to go with this. So drop a comment down below. I have another video coming up after this before I start doing this one. And we are gonna do the mini cradle on it for sure, as you guys all love. What you guys can get on my website is brandon24voffroad.com. All of these parts that I build for these trucks are on the website between traction bar brackets to full CNC cut lift kits and yeah, who wouldn't want to order off the website because you could buy all of this, including old hubs. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, you should definitely go check it out. We also have a line of merch that just got dropped and you guys have been asking for hoodies. I now have hoodies on my merch site, which I'll put the link down here inside the description for that along with the website. But we're gonna lower the truck back down, see how she drives and get it aligned and get the steering wheel back straight. And I also have to buy a new front bumper because I, I, I don't know what happened to that one. It might have might have got hit in my parking lot. But now that the truck is going to be getting a different color. I mean, now that the truck's going to be going down to Florida, I can, uh, I can just have Thomas paint me a new bumper for it. And maybe the rest of the, now actually I'm just going to paint the bumper on it. And I got a grill coming for it that kind of lights up. It's kind of fancy. And I have some, some other things coming for it, but we won't talk about that yet. Let's get it on the ground and let's go outside and drive it really quick. And I will show you guys how hard this thing rips now that it is retuned. Well, here's a test. I haven't driven it yet. So we're gonna see how much tighter the steering is. And honestly, it feels like it's a lot tighter than what it was. And it should be nice and straight now. Oh yeah, look at that. That's like driving a brand new truck actually because the fourth gen drove really nice when I first bought it and then I lifted it and all hell broke loose. And yeah, so she seems like she's pretty aligned now. Take it down this road. What tune is she in? She's in tune one. Yeah, too slow for me, but we can get on it here in a second. That's when all hell breaks loose right here. Yeah, retuning the Cummins was definitely the move I'd say. We're going back to the shop before I get in trouble with this thing. My Mega Cab definitely shits and gets, as you guys seen. But the blue truck, the body is almost done. The motor is almost done. I have to get a transient still for it. I'm gonna buy another five speed for it because I sold the five speed that was in it. I was gonna do a fully built auto with a manual valve body. And I changed my mind. I wanna go back to a five speed because I know that me and automatic transmissions just don't mix well. So we're gonna find one of those, probably down in Florida or something. I'll buy one brand new. And then once the motor's mounted, trans is mounted, I can throw the drive shaft in. I'll finish running the brake lines, hook all the brake lines up at the axle and we're gonna run these nicely to the calipers and then the brake line will go around the back and then hook up into the frame right there. And we got the sump to install yet still, which I have to find. I, I don't know where I put the sump for this truck. And then the front gears are gonna be getting installed probably when I'm gone. I have to get the seals from O'Reilly's yet still. They are, they are here, they did arrive a day early. And that'll allow them to get the axles done, get the diff covers on it, and then hopefully, by the time I'm back from Florida, the body is done, motor is done, and I have a trans with me on the way up. Because when the body's here, the motor's here, the trans is here, I'll say about three days, three to five days, it'll be on the ground running and driving. I just gotta buy the wheel and tire jet still. So be sure to subscribe, like, and comment on these videos. And uh, yeah, without you guys, I would never be able to live this life of building trucks and have all these trucks around here so be sure to like subscribe and end the video and click that merch link down in the description see you bye